Today, the Ohio Supreme Court threw out voting maps for the Ohio House and Senate. Now, saying that the maps are gerrymandered and unconstitutional, the vote was four to three, with Republican Chief Justice Maureen O'Connor joining the three Democrats on the court to vote against the maps. The court opinion said Republican legislative leaders did not even attempt to comply with the political standards required in the constitutional language. Now, the Ohio Redistricting Commission has 10 days to fix the maps and submit it to the court for approval. First News reporter Desiree Goslin spoke with advocates for voting rights who are calling this decision a win for democracy. We saw what we've always seen, backdoor deals, breakdown of talks among party lines, and ultimately maps that put candidates before the will of the people. The League of Women Voters has been working since the 70s, advocating for fair voting practices. They filed a lawsuit against the new Republican drawn maps. We see this as a victory for Ohio voters because when maps are rigged for one party or one candidate, it hurts every Ohio voter. In 2015, voters approved new stipulations to map drawing in order to cut down on favoring one party. This is the first map drawn with the new guidelines. The map failed to comply with these anti-gerrymandering provisions. The ACLU of Ohio also contested the maps. Districts are supposed to be drawn so that they roughly reflect how people tend to vote. In Ohio, about 54% of the votes for Ohio Senate or Ohio House overall lean Republican. But what we saw were maps that were, you know, well over that, three quarters, you know, 75, 80 percent. Now the redistricting committee will have 10 days to submit a new map to the Ohio Supreme Court to review and determine if it complies with the law. Politicians will have to comply and they won't be choosing their voters. The voters will be choosing their politicians, which is the way democracy should work. The deadline for candidates to file for state office is February 2nd, but today's court ruling could push back that deadline. In Youngstown, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News. Ohio's congressional maps are also being challenged in federal court. Attorney Piercy Squire filed the suit on behalf of black voters in Youngstown. The lawsuit contends the new congressional districts discriminate against black voters. Today, U.S. District Judge John Adams in Akron placed a 60-day stay on the case. He's waiting to see how the Ohio Supreme Court rules on a challenge to the congressional map.